I really hope that this camera angle is good and that my head isn't cut off because the sun is kind of coming out. I have very limited time. It's supposed to rain later and it's literally been overcast all week long. So I haven't been able to film this yet. Oh gosh, I think it's tilted. I hope we're good because I'm going to be doing this anyway. Um, hello, I'm Michaela and welcome to a dorm tour. Right now I'm sitting at my desk, my bed is behind me. I will go around and actually show my room. But um, I moved in a couple weeks ago and this video took much longer than I expected because I still had a lot of boxes to unpack that I only unpacked last weekend. And I'm finally going to actually show you around my room. I hope that you enjoy checking it out just as much as I have been enjoying living in it this year. Hello. I definitely did not set up my phone right there for dramatic effect as I walk in through my door, which maybe I'm going into too much detail here, but I really like it just because it does have like an old fashioned look to it. Just the wood and the knob, but I mean, that doesn't really matter that much. Right when you walk in the door to the right is the micro fridge unit that um, I'm renting. That's what it's called apparently. But I keep my cleaning stuff right here for easy access when I get back to my room and I desperately need to wash my phone and laptop because I've been out all day. I've got my own microwave and my own freezer and fridge. <laughs> the, only, the only thing in there right now are four chocolates that I wanted to keep cold in the freezer. And then I have like a solitary apple juice and a water in here right now. I also have an almond milk that I wanna put in there, but I forgot. So this video is actually reminding me to do that. And then next to the fridge is my lovely trash can. Next to all of this, when you walk in, is the armchair. And I probably should have actually made this look nicer um, before filming, but I didn't really think to do that. And I'll print it right now, there we go. Let's pretend it was like that all along. But my mom had the idea of putting this white blanket on it so it looks nice because the actual armchair itself is like this ugly brown with little circles and dots on it, little blue circles. So I think it looks much nicer, even though, I mean, I guess the original fabric of the armchair does have some eccentricity to it, but I use this as my homework chair often. If I'm doing something on my laptop, I just do it right here. It's really cozy because I have some place soft to sit when I have been outside because if I've been out in the library at the dining hall, that kind of thing, I don't like to touch my bed again until I've showered and I'm clean. So this is like my dirty chair where I sit when I've been out all day and it works out perfectly. In front of all of this in the central area is my rug. So what I really love about this rug is it's fuzzy and soft and I didn't want to get one originally because I thought it, I just didn't need it and I thought it was just an expensive purchase, but it ended up being really worth it because I do my homework on here all the time. I love sitting on the floor and it's so nice to have, it's almost like anchoring the room together, I think, especially because it's a soft ivory color, which matches the cream of this blanket on the armchair. Yeah, I'm really, I'm just really, really happy with this carpet, which might sound a little bit weird, but it's like one of my favorite parts of the room. Now on this side of the door is where I keep my shoes, the shoes I wear most often. So my flats, flip flops, which I use for the shower, my Oxford shoes, and these white shoes, which really need to be cleaned. And there's also just a lone scrunchie right there. I don't know why. Okay, crouching so you can see everything. Welcome to my bed area. This is where, as you might have guessed, I sleep. I just keep a few stuffed animals right here, my pillow. This is where I hang out post 9.30 p.m., just right here. And then here's my dresser. It is packed full with clothing um, because I way overpacked and it's an issue, but. And here is long sleeves, sweaters, more sweaters because they take up way too much space. Undergarments. This right here is a bowl where I keep my earplugs in case I need it. And I don't even know if I'm in the frame right now, um, but it's like a little bowl and I also put my keys in here. It just is a place to keep everything. I've got my lamp for reading, and then over here you'll see some fall decor, which my mom bought me last year and I absolutely love. Behind it is a picture of me and my dad when I was little um, on a beach in Acadia National Park, and I really love this picture, so um, I keep it right on my nightstand next to me. Okay, so now I guess we can go under my bed, and I'm not going to spend too much time here because this is more boring, but I keep a basket in the back for my dirty dishes. I keep my violin and sheet music right here. This is all beauty stuff, I guess. Leave-in conditioner, which is supposed to make my hair less frizzy but I don't really know if that's actually working out for me. I've got my laptop right here, my chargers, um, plastic bins with just extra shoes, scarves, mittens, that sort of wintry stuff. And then this is my cleaning basket, so um, spray for stains, Tide Pods, bounce sheets. And this is my food cabinet, so top drawer I don't really- oh my gosh, is there nothing in here? There's nothing in here, I have extra storage. So now I have some place to keep extra stuff. But the second drawer is where I keep my food. I've got candy here, which 
I can smell whenever I open up the drawer and it just is heavenly. Gum, popcorn, granola bars, multivitamins. And then in this bottom drawer is where I keep my dishes. It looks very messy and it kind of is, but I know where everything is. I'm so pleased the sun is coming out again, just in time for me to show you my dormer, which I didn't know that was a word until my Mimi told me last week. The dormer is basically like the window sticking out beyond the wall. Hence my sloped wall. What's so great about the dormer is that usually dorms are square, rectangular, kind of like a prison cell shape. And the dormer makes it feel much cozier, like a bedroom. And I just love the shape that it gives my room. Okay, so to get to my desk, I have to kind of vault over the chair, but it works. I really like having the desk here because a breeze comes in through the window, which is really nice. And I've got another lamp right here. I also have this diffuser that my stepsister got me and I will turn it on so you can see it in action. It smells like cinnamon and cloves, and I love the smell of it. I have this candle on my desk that my grandfather made me. Tissues, decorations, I guess. And also, there was a curtain rod at the top of the window, so I was able to string lights all around it. It's really pretty with that on when it's nighttime. Now, the interior of my desk is right here. This is the one issue with the desk being here, is the drawer hits the post of the bed, which I don't know if this is tilting down enough so you can see. Okay, so, wow, okay, it is very bright now, which is a good thing for this video. Why is this not staying? I've got a bag of writing utensils, scissors, note cards. I'm guessing this isn't the most fun angle to be watching, so let me actually turn this around. I keep some spare pencils out right here just for easy access. Some notebooks so I can just take quick notes on, on small pieces of paper, which is really handy and convenient. A deck of cards. Sometimes my mom and I will play cribbage over the camera. And then letters which i sent out to family um a microphone if i ever need to do voiceovers more pencil case kind of stuff tape um basically everything desky is in here what i also have um underneath my bed is more storage which is where i just put my suitcase and then additional notebook and paper sorts of stuff this white thing right here is my radiator and it has like a cover on it which is why it's white, um, so it won't burn me, which is nice. Before I show the closet, I wanna show you my wall art. So I guess we can begin with this map right behind me. I've had this for years, but I love geography, so I love this map. I've also got my old recipe paintings up here, and I just love the style of painting because it's so adorable. And I haven't actually tried any of these recipes yet, which is a little bit embarrassing, so I'm going to have to do that the next time I'm home. Here's my incomplete photo wall, and it's incomplete because I ordered a bunch of photos off my dad's Snapfish, that I need to hang up and then I also have more photos that my mom had sent me that I need to hang up so basically I'm missing a lot right now but in an upcoming vlog once I have everything up I'll show the final result. So right here I've got my handy dandy um mirror which is warped a little bit so I'll look in the mirror and I'll be like oh my gosh my forehead looks even bigger than usual but it's because it's it's a ripley mirror but you know it works it's great and then my Acadia National Park poster, which I love because the trees are autumnal in here and autumn is my favorite season. So it's just one of my favorites. Right here's the solitary picture. It's solitary because I intended on putting up more around it. And then I realized how much color printing costs um, here at the school because I was just going to print it off. Adjacent to this wall is my Monet painting, which I keep just above the microfridge unit and the armchair. Now for the closet. And if you watched my move-in video, then you'll have already seen how big this is. But if this is your first time seeing my dorm, sorry, it's a little bit messy. Look, it's like, it's a walk-in closet. It's walk-in in a dorm. But essentially there's a ton of hooks here. There's a hook here, which I keep my shower caddy on. Another one, coat right here. I keep my backpack on the floor down here. Um, here's my dirty laundry sack. And these shelves are just full of stuff. Um, masks, towels, sheets, clothing, clothing, books, bracelet, contacts, more clothing. And then of course there's clothing stacked up here. There's clothing hanging here. But yeah, this is my massive closet. I feel like Mr. Rogers or something sitting down on my armchair to talk to the camera. Oh my gosh, I never showed you the view. Okay, here is the view. It's really nice because I have a tree outside my window so I can watch as the leaves change color, which as you can see, it's still a verdant green, but that will change over time and I'm looking forward to that. Okay, but now is the actual end of the video. So thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos um, of this school year and have a wonderful rest of your week.